are live on the air with Fun in the Country Basement. So, how is everybody? Everybody's here. Glenn and Xander, and we have a special guest guest in their house, I think. And Chris, Chris is still working on a pulse. Hello, everyone. <laughs> All right. So, Glenn, take it away, buddy. Hey, everybody. I'm Glenn. I'm Xander. I'm either one of the two. <laughs> and together we're Fun King 3D. We are father and son and sometimes an Uncle Ron team that does uh, 3D printing and electronic projects. Uh, Thomas Arduino makes. Uh, I emailed you the link, buddy. You got it. So you can pop in whenever you're ready. All right, Chris. Yes, I am Chris Riley. Uh, I do 3D printing here on YouTube. And today, this morning, we actually had a stream where we unboxed this Matter Hackers Pulse. And I am continuing to work with it today. So uh, welcome, everyone, to the stream. Thanks for coming to hang out with us. And I am Walter from Country 3D. And I've been working on this TiVo for way too long, but it's starting to come around. And I'm going to say hello to Fun King 3D was in here first. One Raz, 3DP Iceland, Chris Riley, Duo, Jake from State Farm 3D. Oh, no, Brian Vines, Poppy Ron is in the house, Arduino makes. Mike Whaley, Filament Frenzy Tom, Sean Dragon Monk, and Brit Hawks 3DP. Welcome. Trolling for dollars. Welcome. All right, guys. Let's take it away. Glenn, what are y'all working on today? You told me, but. Uh, not much. <laughs> oh, wait. There's our Duino Manx. What's up, buddy? I didn't Thomas even see in the house. In here. Thomas Hello, drops Thomas. in the house. All right, take it away, Thomas. It's on you, buddy. Tell them about okay. yourself. Okay, I'm Thomas. I run a 3D printing channel. I printed many things, like uh, like SO71. I run a 3D printing channel. Got about 600 subscribers. But yeah. All right. Well, what are you going to be doing today on the stream, Thomas? What? What are you going to be doing today on the stream? I don't know. <laughs> um, that, that, I'm in the same boat, yeah. Thomas. It's no worries. I I had a plan. I had a plan. I was going to work on uh, cable management routing on the FK1, and uh, Uncle Ron and I figured it all out before the stream started. So, I guess I could make something. That's, I am I am recalibrating the TiVo little monster after I got the uh, thermistor set correctly in the firmware this morning. All the temperatures started reporting correctly, so now it prints at the right temperature. But I need to recalibrate because I moved it around a bit. And, and Glenn's well, just talking. Well, <laughs> Go ahead, Chris. No, so what was the setting, Walter? What 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 did you actually have to end up doing there? No, there's a line in um, you know, where you set it to the right resistance value for the different thermistors. Uh -huh. And I had it I had it set for some weird one for some reason. Hmm. Um, and I changed it over to the uh, original E3D V6 using the uh, E3D V6 or the E3D settings. And, um, yeah, it, it immediately started printing at the temperatures that it should have printed at to begin with. Because, oh, as you know, I was I was having to set it at 240 to even get it to lay down a good layer. Wait, uh, and now I can run it at... Uh, you know, 210, and it's it's doing pretty good. <laughs> cool. Go ahead, yeah, Thomas. Mar 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 Martin from 3DP Iceland said that Ron's not in the Fun King 3D shirt. Let me move the children. I want to see that helmet, Thomas. I want to say thank you to uh, Brickhawks 3DP for subscribing. Thank you, buddy. And if you're not subscribed to Arduino Makes, Chris's Basement, He's or Fun King 3D, go do it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, boost. Check. So I figured out what was wrong with matter control. The the both or three of the models that I tried, none of them were manifold. 
Um, so there were errors in the model, uh, but matter control does not combat that. So uh, when you put it in there and it has errors like that, which you know a lot of models on Thingiverse do, uh, when you hit slice, it just disappears. It doesn't tell you what happened. The model just goes away. So uh, I found one that was manifold and sliced it, and it didn't work. It, so. it, hey, to hey, Thomas? Yeah? Can you mute your mic until you get situated, buddy? You're taking the screen away from Chris. Yeah. I, I, bet, uh, I bet the drink coaster from Thingiverse wouldn't have that problem, Chris. Well, no. Probably not. <laughs> It was a build of the week, after all. So, Chris, you have no idea. So, you put the you put the BL Touch, the original BL Touch, on the Delta, and it's working fine. Is that right? Yes. And, and then I put it I put it back on the Pulse, the original one, back on the Pulse, and it started doing that same issue again. But then I power cycled it, and it's not doing that that issue now. So, okay. so it's one of the wires is flaky. Um, I'm guessing on this wire loom. Okay. So are you um? So you got that back? Did you glue your uh your piece together, or are you going to print another one and and do it? I'll probably just reprint this because it's pretty gnarly. Uh, this was interesting. I have to say. <laughs> One other thing, did you did you uh, replace your PTFE tube? No, I did not. Uh, and it dances around inside that extruder a little bit too much for my liking. I don't. I'm not sure about that. So it's the type, <clears throat> like if you've on the on the top of a V6, if you've seen it when it's ready for a Bowden tube, they put that collet clip, that brass collet clip, inside there. Yeah. Uh, it's like that on this CMC uh, extruder. And it, that whole pollet clip dances up and down just a touch, which so, it shouldn't. So they don't have one of the little blue clips that goes under it to hold that up? Right, right. And, you and, don't and have they, do, they do on the hot end side, but they don't on the extruder side. Well, here, I got some extras. You want one? Yeah, if you could hand me one, I'd just slide it right <laughs> in here. Right now I'm putting this cable go down. Need a bit of glue. This can see that orange thing. It's a cable go they made for my optically. Let's see, I'm gonna figure out how to do a screen grab because I'm gonna design some stuff uh, that I'm gonna make. That's what I was planning to work on. Let's see, okay. Chris, have you got a successful point on the post yet? Yeah, we we ended up getting a benchy out of it. Um, but that's the uh, only one so far. It was like the only thing. Mm. Yeah. Maybe you level my bed quickly. I have to hit my printer every like, time. I'm starting to feel like that, that guy that does small engine repair that everybody has in their town. He just sets in a shed with a whole bunch of broken stuff. Well, it's it's a little bit uh, disheartening that you're having problems with that thing, Chris. I mean, it is. Um, I was really expecting out of the box printing amazing um, instantaneously. But but you know you know well and good that if you reach out to Matter Hackers, they're gonna take care of it immediately. Oh yeah, yeah. They would. Sure. But what's the point of making a phone call? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, because you can't reach out to them on Twitter. No, I can't. Um, <laughs> Brit Hawks 3DP. H how do I find the TiVo Little Monster print quality and is it worth buying? Well, I can't say, I can't give you a fair 
answer to that because mine, from the time I got it, the smoothieware board, the MKS board that was on it, never, it would do one print that looked fantastic and then it would do five that were crap. Um, and you could never do one right after the other prints. You would have to power cycle the machine in order to get another decent print. So I have updated it to a duet ran machine. And so far I have been having issues with temperatures and that is because I had the wrong thermistor set. So right now I can't tell you whether it prints good or not, but would I suggest it? If you can find it for under $700, yes, because then the cost of upgrading it is, is doable because the machine itself is a massive machine. So if you can get it cheap enough, then yes, it's worth buying. If you have to pay the thousand dollar version of this, I would not recommend it. <laughs> what was I doing up at a quarter to three this morning? Streaming. What else would I be doing at that time in the morning? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why Glenn wasn't there. He could have joined me. What's that? I don't know why you didn't join me on my early morning stream this morning. Because uh, I was sleeping, and then I got up and went to church like a good human being. Oh, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> even even Uncle Ron was there. I uh, I woke up at like three or so this morning, or it was actually like four this morning. Yeah, I seen the notification when I got up this morning. And I come in here and I'm like, well, if I'm going to work on the TiVo, might as well stream it. I thought it was funny that you labeled it as a late night stream when really it was an early morning stream. It was an early morning stream. Yeah, that was it. That's right, Colin. Old people often get up at 3 a.m. to stream. <laughs> and duo, yes. Um, but, and it did, but I was still printing at 240. And you can see from the gloss. Now, it did print fine, except for that. The alptofilament, I guess, had a kink in it, and it under-extruded completely on the bottom, so it come apart. <laughs> Brian Vine said, and or extrude. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. It's a bad thing. <laughs> All right, I have a question for the community. Uh, I'm researching it right now, but... Does anybody know what wire gauge E3D uses for their V6 heat cartridge? Got no idea. It's the one they use. Oh, it's the one they use? Yes. I'd, I'd almost guarantee that. It's the gauge that they use. I, I would only be taking guesses. <clears throat> okay. I mean, I'm thinking that I can get away with 24 gauge because it's a 24 volt heat not that those two numbers have anything to do with each other but being that it's a 24 volt heater it's gonna it's gonna carry less amperage so i should be able but it's a long run so i might i might like go to a 20. Well, i'm gonna say it's 18. Eight, 18. 18 is what it looks like it seems big Chris, are you breaking out the wind, Hal? Yeah, it's like round, round number four. Sounds like Thomas fell down the stairs. Thomas fell down the stairs. What? No, I'm trying to find something. Well, mute your mic. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Teach you to hang out with us, Thomas. That's right. Yeah, when you mute it, I'll go find it. Thank you. The part was for my thing. <laughs> so t tomorrow, tomorrow when Mailbag Monday comes out, you guys are gonna get this to hear me talk about this. But I wanna, I wanna show you how great Thomas's handwriting is. Can you guys see that? It's probably blurry, but that's that's Thomas's handwriting. He's got really exceptionally great handwriting. Excellent. And I say that, you know, because Xander's, Xander's the same age, and 
his handwriting looks like it went through a garbage disposal. <laughs> I'm in the same No, I'd be afraid to show the people. What about his ender? Wait, you see my handwriting. Yeah, you need to give him a mic, man. Come on. Who? Ron. Ron's got a mic. You can't talking loud. They cannot hear him. Oh, 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 his uh his receiver went dead. All right, I'll take care of it. I just gotta okay. go down to the basement. Yeah, I, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Say hey to Chris while you're down there. <laughs> wait, wait, you went under the table. Chris might not want you to say hello. <laughs> <laughs> hey, easy now, easy. Hey, that was a, that was a Shrek joke. It was good enough for a Disney movie. Yeah, that's a much better print. I redid the uh, the bed leveling on the uh, TiVo, and it was a thousand percent different than the original one that I did. So, uh, I tell Xander not to put his fingers in there. Well, I couldn't find it. I don't mind that idea. All right, talk. See if it works. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Make sure I'm putting it back in the right spot. There's too many places to plug crap in down here. All right, talk. Okay. Can you guys hear Ron now? I, did he talk? Is that better, Walter? No. no. Okay. Still can't hear him. No, you're fine. I, I probably just plugged it in wrong. Oh, that's Uncle Ron. If you ever see Uncle Ron in the uh, chat, that is Uncle Ron. And when he gets a mic on, we'll let him introduce himself. Try now. Any better now, Walter? Yes, that's better. Okay. Now let's let Ron introduce himself. Ron, will you introduce yourself since they're asking who you are? I'm Uncle Ron. I don't have much on the YouTube channel yet. I got a few items up there. Uh, enjoy 3D printing and lots of other miscellaneous hobbies. And hopefully, eventually, I'll get around to actually getting the basement cleaned out enough that I can do what Chris does. There you go. Break stuff and make messes? Yeah. <laughs> Or just I buy stuff. Stuff. I can fix broken. I still don't think anything's matched the uh, three color V Tech debacle, though. I don't. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> I, as of yet, nothing has matched that, but uh, I really don't want to try. <laughs> Hey, Uncle Ron, um, Hawk 3D Pro said, now I can't time you out for 500 seconds. Yeah. yeah. Well, you <laughs> could. You have to time out. Glenn. Well, yeah, but we can't. He's a, he's a lot in here as well. So. Oh. <laughs> yeah, what the, yeah, what was that one? It was like 600 seconds or something. Yeah, like that. It, was, it was 300 seconds. 300 it was seconds. five minutes. Five minutes, five minutes yeah. yeah. And once he did it, he's like, oh, you can't undo it. No, you can't. No, I, well, that's the same. I haven't figured out when Nightbot blocks people either how to unblock them. Really? Yeah, you, you have to go into certain settings in, in your YouTube channel itself. Yeah, night, Nightbot's mean. <laughs> I'm waiting for Nightbot to, to spend themselves for spamming because they keep saying the same thing over and over again. Yeah, that's controlled by us, though. We get to choose that. My brother James is in the house. Hello, James. Wait, why is Ron with the Fun King? Because <laughs> Ron had to take an emergency trip to Florida. <laughs> Hope everything come out all right. Uh, so far, it has been, yeah. I'm going to make a glow in the dark thing. I haven't put in this PLA yet. Sweet. I'm actually printing not a tree frog for once. <laughs> The tree toad. I can't even load this. That would be the bundle. How many is that? Well, it should be 17. There's four. There's the five from the BL Touch. There's the two from the extruder and uh, thermistor and the two fans. Yeah, 17. 16, isn't it? Five. Because these are five. Seven. 13. Three. Is it? Four. four. Seven. Called the Chris is quiet because he hasn't gotten over his morning anger <laughs> issues yet. 
Jesus, I don't know what's going on today. That's what happens when we let Chris stream twice on a Sunday. Right? Yeah. Never three on a match. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, no. This morning did not go as I had planned. That's for sure. He got out now. But that's how things go, right? That's right. Dude, have you watched my streams? That's exactly how things go. <laughs> if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. That's right. I never go as planned. And you're right, Duo. I am single-handedly repopulating the Florida swamps with frogs. <laughs> and they all wear little cowboy hats. <laughs> That's a really creepy thought, actually. That is. <laughs> that would be so creepy. And the uh, I don't know if y'all have anything like this, Glenn, where you live. But, you know, the certain time of year when the frogs hatch and they 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 become frogs from tadpoles. Right, and there's a bazillion baby frogs everywhere? Everywhere, on every highway. Yeah. And, I mean, it's just, it's a nasty sound. If you roll your windows down, all you hear is pop, 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 Well, pop, pop, even, pop, pop. even, like, even in the yard, like, when you go to take the garbage to the curb or whatever and you're walking, there's big frogs everywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well... I could just I could just picture all of that with all of them wearing little cowboy hats. All of these millions of frogs. <laughs> all of them look like they're a chalk outline. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Start printing the cowboy hats, Walter, and go out there and glue them onto their heads. I yeah, I can do that. Yeah, huh? How'd you spend your weekend? <laughs> Gluing cowboy hats on frogs. I think Peter would have a problem with that. I'm not sharp. What's up with my camera? My internet's probably sucking right now. My internet really sucks. So, Glenn, I don't know if you're watching this. How does it look to you? Is it is it all choppy and chalky and stuff? Once in a while, it's 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 grainy. It's it's, it's like it normally is. Oh, okay. As long as it's as long as it's normal, I'm okay. 3D printing llama's got an issue about your glasses, there, Glenn. You go into here. It's just the design. Wait, uh, not, not that Tom, way. you leave my glasses alone. I pay a dollar for these at Dollar Tree. At least they're not the cat ones. The the cat glasses, yeah. yeah. These are my my Drew Carey glasses. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, here, let me have those ones here. Right? I'm, really thinking about, uh, I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about 3D printing myself. So, some bling glasses. Are these nice? Still loading. <sighs> Makers. Anyway, I can have my face in this. The white piece he's never seen a frog with a hat. The first never make it that far. I don't know about y'all, but I love how on Google Hangouts it says in the current configuration, the video's primary and backup streams have different frame rates. We recommend that you change them to match. Do you know how to change your frame rate on your Google Hangout? I don't think you can. They exactly. Don't, they don't well, why do they suggest the option it? to change anything? Right. Anyway, I, I don't know either. Still under half an inch. That would be the bundle coming out of the extruder. Okay. Here, I got. I have an idea. Since they they don't like the Minecraft version, I'll just do it like that. Now I can I can just be on here like this. Look, I bet that's clear. It, it, is. Yeah. it is. It's very clear, and it and it, it's actually a little bit creepy, like that. Like it's artificial intelligence. I know, right? Walter, it would be artificial intelligence. <laughs> Sorry, Walter. What did, what did I, you say? I didn't hear you. I said for you, it would be artificial intelligence. It absolutely would. Um, Skalda, I am printing the UFO frog, and it is printing very nicely. I can see if OBS will uh. Clean up my video some. I'll change over to the OBS camera. Hold on. I don't think it this, will. This claims to be right. order. That's a cool one. Okay. Well, that's a, I'm pretty sure that's slash four yeah. quarter inch. But look at the size of that. Yeah. This is quarter as well. Different brand. Oof. It's a much tighter weave, but was was you can get it open up, but not the end is heat shrink. You know, it hits at the end. Right. I don't know, y'all have to tell me if that's any better. I don't know if it is or not. 
Probably see. not. Oh yeah, that's better. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Much better. Piece of that. This is better right. for me. I think now, the, Glenn, now Glenn's all pixelated. Well, they, they heat, they heat it to cut it. Yeah. Like, look at, see how I like it. It just pulls oh, apart. So that means I can show you what I'm working on. Let me go over here. Turn on. Nope. Yeah, that one. And I can show you the print. There it is. I can. I reach for my electrical tape. I don't have any money. Give me my webcam. Mm -mm. Oh, never mind. So yeah, my in, my infill is working a lot better now with this, with Good. the settings I have now. It's actually combined and it sticks together and not pot pointing near as bad. Hey, how do I? Okay, we gotta get one. Yeah. No, who do you put a cat? I'm going to go in the jug. All right, I'll be right back. Hey. Where's my mouse? Hey, Thomas. Did he freeze? I think he's frozen. He's frozen. Thomas is frozen. Hey, Walter, you printing out that coaster? I am. I am. This is this is absolutely no. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's got more detail. It's got a hole in the middle. I might. Uh, I might have to fire that uh, coaster up on the uh, on the Prusa with my uh, Fun King 3D Yellow PETG, and you know. Print it on the FK one. FK one. It'll be a placemat. That's right. It'll be a hubcap. Hubcap. There you go. <laughs> yeah. For those of you guys, for those of you guys in the chat that don't know what we're talking about, I'm going to go ahead and post this. And if it's somebody in our chat that made this, my apologies, but this just cracks me up. You guys can go check out this uh, this link on the Thingiverse. Hey, look! It's Red Light. I thought he was mad at me. Is. Do, He's Walter? only here for Chris and I. <laughs> okay. Chris, what are you doing to that printer? What am I not doing? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. No, uh, <laughs> so, the Wan Howe has been one of the interesting printers that I've owned. And uh, so, I guess, uh, after much reading, I guess uh, the version 2, like this one, has... Uh, Stepper extruder stepper motor issues. They're they're rated at like 1.2 amps or something like that. And if you run them at the correct voltage, the torque just isn't quite enough to keep up with the print moves. So I have been. I like that they introduced the problem in the second revision. Yeah, no kidding. I uh, <laughs> appreciate that from those guys, but. Yeah, I don't, you know, they, they and they're moon steppers. Yeah, you know, it's not like they're cheap steppers. Um, so I've been trying to get around the issue, you know, without replacing a lot of things like changing, you know, s slower sprint print speeds and feed rates and e steps and on and on and on and on. And I just can't get around it. 
So uh, I am replacing it with a, a 64 ounce stepper that should be able to lift a truck. So we'll see what it does. All right, check it out. Glenn, Chris, y'all check it out. It's still doing the thing where the infill doesn't bond to itself. Everything else is fantastic, but the infill does not does not bond together. Have you run an extruder calibration on that? The extruder has been calibrated. The PID temperatures have been calibrated. Everything is calibrated. And it has, really, this, it has this problem with multiple filaments? Uh, yes. I cut out. Yeah, you kind of froze up, Thomas, and then disappeared. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's with any filament that I try. I'm going to... It'll get better for a couple of prints and then it'll just, it'll die again. I, I don't, I don't know what the deal is with it. Oh, Tony Ryan. No, Tony, it is not running yet. Oh yeah. Tony Ryan asked if the FK one is running yet. But it is, it not. is massive. Doesn't have any wire yet. Red light says he's not mad at you. Yeah, I saw that. I'm glad he's not mad at me. I like red light. He's a good guy. Um, Lightspeed asked if it's clogged. It is not clogged. Mad Mike 8 said slow the infill, infill yeah. speed down. I did that. I, I slowed it down to 50% of the other speed. That made no difference. I'm going to try this again. at the. I'm, I'm upping the infill extrusion width. I'm going to try that and see if that helps. Walter, Walter, have you been checked out? The problem might be you. <laughs> Could be, could be, could be, could be. <laughs> You're absolutely correct. It could be. No, Walter has has plenty sufficient info. <laughs> <laughs> Walter has sufficient what? Infill. Yeah, I do. You are correct. I am full of infill, as a matter of fact. <laughs> You're full of something. Is that what they call that? <laughs> I was trying to be clean, Glenn. I was like, I couldn't get that one out fast enough. Full, full of extrusion. <laughs> yeah, I'm full of extrusion material. That is true. <laughs> uh, light speed uh, looks like a partial clog. Yeah, it would, except for the, the outside oh, layers are beautiful. Uh, Brooks, 3DP says, good night. Got to go change a fan on my JJA5. Tony Ryan, he cannot do all of those things at the same time. I used to think so, too, and then I just come to the realization that just Chris couldn't do it. Yeah, it, it, everything but the chewing the gum. It gets right. stuck in his hair. He can, do, he can do everything except for chewing the gum. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't. Uh, I can't proceed with wiring the printer until I print more. Uh, more cable change. So, weren't weren't you waiting on something to come from China too? Well, I was waiting on the lead screws, and then they showed up bent, and then I ordered the ball screws. They're here. They're on. Oh, okay. They're they're absolutely fantastic. They're so smooth. They're twelve millimeter. I was going to do eight millimeter uh, lead screws. And uh, as soon as I took them out of the package and looked at an eight millimeter lead screw compared to the printer, I thought, this isn't right. But uh, the new ball screws are 12 millimeters, so they, they kind of fit it a little better. But yeah, um, I need to find somebody. Maybe there's somebody in the chat that does or knows somebody that does. I need to find somebody who can mill, like CNC mill some aluminum. I want to try something. So if anybody out there can mill, it would be about... Uh, about 13 millimeters thick total. Um, get get hold of me because I want to I want to try something. So, hey, light speed. Um, I know that. That's why I slowed the uh, infill down to 50 percent, and I just put it together. It is an all metal hot end. There is no lining. Um, Carl, the reason that I changed my mind on the lead screws is because. This was the only set of 650 millimeter lead screws I could find. And then when they showed up bent, I wanted to get something here quickly. And I was able to order the ball screws from Amazon. I had them in two days. They came out of California. 
You know, you could have got a set of a thousand there like in two days from Amazon and then uh, just chopped them off. Yeah, but I would have had the same problem. An eight millimeter, an eight millimeter lead screw at that length is going to have issues. True. I, I'm telling you, when I took that thing out of the box and held it up to the printer, it was almost comical how small they were. <laughs> oh, I know. I know eight millimeter lead screws are not big. Tristan, hey. welcome, buddy. Um, Tony. I am using Simplify 3D to slice these models. Oh, lucky. Not hey. yet, Thomas. That influence on Xander, he's growing to look like just, just like him. <laughs> Sorry, I accidentally ate Xander. <laughs> yes, yeah, speaking of Xander, where is he? Xander's probably on the Xbox. Uh, and you're worried about the two millimeter versus four millimeter. No, I did a little digging on that. It, it'll be okay. The, the four millimeter, um, whatever step, whatever, it, it'll be fine. Let's see. Mitch Street D says I can do aluminum on a router. All right, Mitch, I will reach out to you. I want to run past you what I'm thinking that I need. And you tell me if you can do it. I mean, it's it's a relatively easy piece. It's it's about this big. Um, it's got just a couple steps in it and a few holes punched through it. But okay, I'm gonna design what I want to design. Ronder should replace Xander. <laughs> Seems more interesting. What was that? <laughs> that Mike eight. I think X Ronder should replace Xander. Ronder. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what. Don, the 3D printing there, there. Uncle Ron, get that form from Glenn. Fill it out so you can see. Because I have a box that's supposed to go to oh, the customs. But I have to do a customs form, and you know I'm not good on paperwork. <laughs> okay, you can't do it online. They gave me a paper form. They said we don't like what you're doing here. Give us tell tell us what's in the box. And I said I'm not going to tell you what's in the box. But Don, you coming to New York Baker Fair? I'll hand it deliver to you. <laughs> Hey Chris, what are you printing on the uh, on the pulse right now? I should give you some of my. Uh... I'm just trying to get a, uh, to see if the calibration works, and I just go. I found a benchy that was actually working with the software, so. Oh, I got just you. Trying, I'm trying to see if it's actually leveling. Let's it see. looks like. Thomas broke thing of verse. I did thong reverse. Oh, you did thong reverse. You're lucky. You're lucky it didn't come up with something different. <laughs> See, I was looking for a Raspberry Pi model for that scale. Oh, yeah, have you seen the, like, Raspberry Pi. Hey, Thomas, you don't be printing anybody's Raspberry Pi case but the one I designed. <laughs> okay. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not looking for a case. I'm looking for, like, a legitimate Raspberry Pi. I don't think you can print a Raspberry Pi. No, I'm, I, I need to import it into Tinkercad for scale. Oh, uh, go to, um, go to GrabCAD. G-R-A-B, okay. like you grab hold of something. C-A-D, CAD. CAD, and you'll have to you'll have to make an account, but it's free, and they have a fantastic model of the Raspberry Pi, and it is it is dimensionally accurate. That's what I designed my case off of. Is that why it don't fit? Yeah, <laughs> you talk crap. There's yeah, Col Colin it. said there's one on GrabCAD. <laughs> Duo said Thongiverse was registered at one point. <laughs> Oh, I don't doubt that. A creating a job. Select your country. Have any of you guys uh, gone to gone out to Chuck Chuck Hellebuck's site and seen the chip chipino that he created? Yeah, <laughs> that thing is really impressive, and I've. Yeah, he did a video Friday or whatever about a, a board and everything that he so he could put a dev set up, you know. Um, but uh, I asked him, I was like, Well, you know, when are you gonna make your own mega club? And he said, Well, 
he thought about it. Like he was going to make a board to swap out on a CR10 Mini. How cool would it be to have a Chuck Hellebuck main board on your printer? Absolutely. I, I'd, I'd buy it. five of them. I'd, I'd buy that. Yeah, that'd be awesome. You can take me to Blue Body. Wait, I need to find the Raspberry Pi. Can't seem to find one so far. Let's see if you buy Raspberry Pis. What? I think I think if Chuck made his own printer board, like I think the big advantage to that is he would make it specifically for that task. You know, like every board you look at has like a few extra things that you just don't need on it. And it's like, just give me what I need. Yeah. Glenn, where's that Raspberry Pi? Uh, oh, let me see if I can find it, buddy. I think I found it. It was made on July 26, 2018. Yeah, I found it. Uh, I don't know if that's the one I used. I mean, that may be okay, but... I think it'll be. I can check. In, in our community, especially, I mean, uh, especially YouTubers, um, if Chuck could do that and find somebody to manufacture it reasonably, um, there, is, there is no reason why we wouldn't all use them. I mean it would be like the default go-to board at that point. Absolutely. Yeah. Why would you, why would you buy, you know, a junk board out of China if you could buy a chip board? Yeah. Even if they were 50 bucks, I mean, I, you, you just buy one. I, I don't know. I think that's a great idea, but Chuck is the only guy I know capable of doing something like that. <laughs> you probably want to get more involved in electronics. So he'd probably just ship you a package of resistors and chips. You have to solder the whole thing together yourself. I'd be fine with that too. A, a DIY kit. Yeah. That could be pretty cool. I'd give it a try. I don't know if I'd get it done or not, but I'd, I'd definitely give it a shot. The only, the only downside to that is like surface mount stuff is so hard to do at home. Yeah. Glenn, did you get that uh, robot unfinished? Uh, yeah, we sure did. Does it work? It, well, it does. It's 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 a little glitchy, but hey, hey Thomas, that that Pi is uh, it's named Raspberry Pi Three B Plus, huh. uh, made by Aaron Rubin. Okay. All right. Uh, I can find it. I I should do it instead. But I think I found one that should work. The I think it's got the dimensions. I have the file. Find a another layer. Gosh, dang it. Well, I mean, All right, so, so we have 51 people watching right now and uh, only nine thumbs up. You guys are being greedy with the thumb. thumbs up, people. <laughs> <laughs> thumbs up, everyone. I mean, if for nothing else, just just for Thomas. It, well, Thomas is definitely worth giving the thumbs up for. Right. Tom, pretty pretty well. Ultima machine. Chuck Chep board. I mean, that, that just goes. It's like, what are you running? Oh, it's a Chep course yeah yeah let's uh let's uh let's harass chuck about making that well we we gotta uh purchase some of chuck's time to get this done <laughs> well we need to go we need a uh indiegogo campaign or something for him to have time to work on it yeah yeah kickstarter yep chris just dm it on twitter yeah i can't see out now i zoomed in and tinkered that the... that should be the campaign Talk Chuck into doing it if Chris Riley gets on Twitter. Oh, then we'll never get it. Well, uh, I mean, to get that, th you know, changes can be made. <laughs> well, see, if you were on Twitter, you could harass him about it. <laughs> yeah, and then he wouldn't be my friend anymore. That's true. He would not <laughs> like you anymore. I swear, I cannot really design, design something without a mouse. It's near impossible. So I, I have a I have a box that came in the mail today. And it's ticking. 
Did it is get it there? One? It's a it's a very special box from one Christopher Riley. <laughs> <laughs> and just just so you know, Colin Hill, that date is not off. Um, Symbolics.com was the first domain name ever registered online. It was 26 years ago on March 15th of 1984. Or 1985, I'm sorry. Yeah, this was we play Helix to scale. Hey, no, Chris, the, the, not the, the first Chris, domain ever made, Colin. The first one ever registered online. I had the first domain ever registered online. Okay, so, so you own Symbolics.com in 1980. Yeah. Okay, Actually, cool. my oldest my oldest domain name is uh, twenty years old this year. Still have it. Yeah. Nice. Let's see. You gotta buy better spelling markers. Ooh. I usually like the smell of markers, not that one. Keeps the kids from huffing them. So yeah, this this uh, this box comes all the way from uh, from Chris Riley, and and. I never knew the name of the street that Chris Riley lives on, but it's quite appropriate. So yeah. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. Yeah, we'll say People tell me that quite often. This box better be full of Benji. I thought it was, but I really did. Oh, I'm quite disappointed. Yeah. Not one Benji in here. Let me tell you what I started. I was sitting at my desk last night. And I started just laughing hysterically and Xander goes what 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 and he comes running over and I said oh no I was just thinking about something and he said what and I said I have a box coming from Chris and he goes yeah I'm like I have a box coming from Chris <laughs> and then he realized what I was laughing about and now I'm disappointed so, so I didn't want to do it to you twice well Chris I said you should print them out a TPU and then you could use them for packing material That's a good point. That is that is a beautiful piece of equipment right there, and I hope that this uh, I hope that this fixes the E12. Yeah, I hope it works out for you. Like I said, I never used that one, so. I mean, even even so, even if it doesn't work for the E12, it's it's a nice piece to have around. But now you got a project for the screen. Yeah. No, I still have to get uh, I got to get stepper drivers. <laughs> ah. And I have to design a whole entire case for it to go in because I hate that separate box. I hate that design. Whoever came up with that design of having the separate box, they need to be kicked in the nuts. <laughs> I, I don't know how else to put it. It's awful. That's pretty strong words, buddy. <laughs> this, this I don't know if I should share with you guys today or wait, but I guess I'll share with you what it is, and then, and then you'll have to wait until later to find out more detail. What is it? That would be a Chuck Hellebuck Filament Friday 3D Printing Toolkit. Sweet. I Ooh. saw a picture of one of those on Twitter today, I think. Yeah? Maybe, maybe yesterday, yeah. Does it come with a chip board? <laughs> no. no, but it comes with a, a digital caliper print removal tool, uh, the cleanup knife. I mean, it comes with a whole bunch of stuff. It's a good heavy box. Yeah. Are, are those available for purchase or did he send you one? They are available for purchase on the Amazons. Well, um, oh. sold. And look at that. Everything's got a red handle. Oh, yeah. Imagine that. <laughs> and then I was a moron and ordered a uh, 40 millimeter Noctua fan in 5 volt when I needed a 12 volt. So mm -hmm. I had to order another one. And I was going to return the 5 volt one, but they wanted half as much money back for shipping because it was my fault. So, and I could have just claimed that it was bad, but I wasn't, you know, I don't want to be dishonest. Oh, yeah. No, that's going in the cart right now, dude. All right. <laughs> uh, please use my affiliate link at, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you guys haven't seen that. <laughs> Better hurry, Chris. There's only nine left in stock because I just took the tenth one. Uh, post, a, post a link to that in the chat for everybody else. Me? I got no, it. No, no, Walter. Oh, Walter. Okay. <laughs> Many of you haven't seen the my new channel. I think it's pretty cool. There's the link, and it told me there were ten left in stock. So yeah, and it still says ten left in stock, even though I just got my email for my order. 
Well, maybe yeah. they haven't taken yours out of stock yet. Well, that would mean they would be overselling, right? Um. It's damn sure a feature packed kit. What's that? It's a lot of tools in that kit. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in there. I don't, I don't want to like, I don't want to open it and stuff right now. It's got a benchy on the front, which I think is cool, but um, I want to do a proper review on it. Yeah, no, I get it. But it, it looks, uh, I mean, glue stick, filing. It's got a file. It's got a wire brush. It comes with a little pouch. It's even got a cutting mat in there. Yeah, the cutting mat, the uh, the multi bladed Exacto knife. Tony Ryan. 3D, the proud sponsor of the fun in the country basement. <laughs> I, did, I did refresh my browser. No, I, you know, like I, I, I like to support those in the community, even, you know, I mean, even if they're not a sponsor and I don't have an affiliate link with them. <laughs> Which, speaking of sponsors, I'd like to uh, throw a big shout out to, uh, I don't know, Bontech. We'll go with Bontech right this moment. Uh. <laughs> what was the. Uh... Can't figure out how to scale something and take with that. Don't listen. I have to say that direct extruder was a lot smaller than I expected it to be, too. Oh, the Bonte? Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice pack and it fits with the E3D really well. Because the ones I was looking at at the show were monsters. I think like. <laughs> so, what are you making there, Thomas? Uh, I'm design I'm making a. Like, um. Like a Raspberry Pi laptop thing. It's gonna have a Raspberry Pi and a battery, and this and there's gonna be a flip up screen. Cool. And, and I have a little mini keyboard too. It's pretty cool. What kind of keyboard are you gonna use? He said he's got a little mini keyboard. I got kind of mini Raspberry Pi laptop, I guess. That's pretty cool. Tony from Casa Del Waco has, uh, told me to look at uh, that thing number. It's a uh, submarine Vinci. Oh, yeah. He was working on that the other night. Oh, <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, it's going to take some supports on the bottom, though, isn't it? I, <laughs> I got to give that one a try. I, I still got to work. I still got to print out aircraft carrier Vinci. No, this thing will print without supports. Nice. At least it looks like it will. Yeah, let me, I'll try to share my screen here. No, you, no you're going to have to have support. Oh, no, well, maybe not. Hey, can you guys see that? I guess I have to keep talking so you can see it, but there's the, uh, there's the sub Benji. Yeah. Nice. Well, no, I'm going to find out. Does that sub Benji have uh, screen windows? Found it. Oh, and I have to sign into my MakerBot. Oh, now we're going to know what Thomas's password is. No, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> there, we got your email now. Here, I'll put the. Uh, oh, maybe Chris did already. This is a pretty cool subject. Oh, yeah. I was going to put the link in the chat, but Chris already got it. Aircraft carrier Benji. Just search sub Benji on Thingiverse. Then you get it. I can't read the chat right now. I should pop it out. Not yet, mine. It's still printing, buddy. I can't read. No, I'm echoing because I'm in. Yeah. All right. So there, I posted a link. That's the aircraft carrier, Benji. <laughs> I yeah, love same, that. Wow, same, same wheelhouse. <laughs> it's got the little flag port on the back. The oh, Nimitz? I, the USS uh, Nimitz? Uh, I don't have that kind of great free time to come up with all that stuff. That uh, that was the aircraft carrier in the movie Under Siege with Steven Seagal. 
was the Nimitz. <laughs> Thomas Thomas closed his window by mistake and logged himself out. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. He'll come back. Okay, so that one is on my... Ben, ben said, wow, that sub benchy is epic. Getting printed tomorrow. I actually just uploaded it to my duet. As soon as the uh, country UFO is done, I'm going to print it. Okay. There we go. Hey, look, I Thomas is back again. I love it, it takes it takes a special set of skills to close Google. <laughs> How many of you guys like the new look of Google Chrome? I don't like it. Who is it? There's a new Google Chrome. What? No, it looks different. Can you see like the windows in the top of like in the top of this? They're all oh, weird. tabs. Uh, page icons. Yeah, the, the yeah. tabs. I don't like the look of it. I didn't it. See what's going on over on the Twitters. Sub Benji, I like guess less than a Benji. <laughs> <laughs> going on in the Twitters. Very specific set of skills. <laughs> yeah, just I will find you. And I will. I'm going to take Tony Ryan's. Advice. I am going to cancel the UFO and print the sub. Ben, would you get out of here? I want you to find some Sorry, that's my only annoying word. Yes, Cortex. The eyes are free. Well, it's going to have pieces plugged into it. Yeah. This infill was much better at 150% width. It's still not great, though. I guess I do need to work with the uh, speeds and see if I do it. Uh, yeah. Later, Robbie Mac. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Robbie Mac. Back to work. I didn't, okay. I didn't even look to see how long the sub benchy was going to take. The Nimitz is two hours. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I gotta, sh I gotta share this. I gotta, sh I gotta share this. Hang on, I gotta Let me get over to my what? monitor. This is on Twitter. Yeah, oh, sorry. This, this, this is on on Twitter. She said, "I don't think my pharmacist likes me." <laughs> <laughs> you know what's really funny? The L and the R aren't close together on the keyboard. <laughs> Not even close. No, like it, it's like it wasn't accidental. <laughs> right. And I'm screen sharing. What? <coughs> Light speed. The problem with that is there is no pre-configured slicer for a TiVo little monster with a duet on it. Slice it for Walter. Oh, wait, now you got all your sponsors on the screen. Oh, oh yeah, I got to put my sponsors up once in a while. I mean, I mean, the guys over at Open Builds were not all, you know, just awesome enough to give me free shipping on all my aluminum, but then they came in on our live stream Friday night and, uh, and tipped me 20 bucks. Wow. <laughs> yep, they were sponsored. Later, Don. I wish somebody tipped me twenty bucks. That didn't did seem you, to work. No, did you get my? Uh, did you get my? Uh, I was I was doing a. Uh, what do you call it? What do you call those? Are you trying to be somebody else? Oh, oh, an impression. Yeah, that's it. I was trying to do my impression. Did it work? No, nope. doesn't seem to have. Damn it. <laughs> Maybe I should do it when I'm on your stream, Glenn. Well, or that's, Chris's that's, stream. If you're doing a proper impression, then that's yeah, how you're yeah, supposed yeah, to do yeah. it. <laughs> yes, I did, Hulk. And it's always appreciated, my friend. Jeez. 
You know what? I think this sub is going to need supports. If you notice this end down here, I don't I don't know that it's going to it might work. I'll see. I, I generally like if I look at something, I'm like, ah, oh, does this need supports? I just print without them and see how it goes. Well, that's what I did. I just I just post popped it on here and it's printing, so it looks like a bullet when it lays down the uh a really snub nose bullet, but I did watch his video. I watched it all the way to the end. I didn't see any problems like this. I can't hear Ron. Well, that, you can't hear any of them. They muted their mics, I think. Yeah, we, we, we mute in between so that we don't take the screen from anybody else. We're, we're over here having our own little conversations. But I had it locked on you so we could watch you have your conversation. Oh, well, that's, okay. that's fun. <laughs> if, I, if I'd have known that, I would have done something funny. Little sign language chris how's it going uh the pulse is working fine at the moment i see you pulled the laptop over for the wan how though yeah uh when matter control is running it steals all your usb ports i found oh that's nice yeah it, it's permission yeah, denied nice. and this laptop is ancient so it doesn't work very well Man, I'm my thing's playing slow. Uh oh, let's see. I can't hear anyone. It's a talking. Hey, at this time, I would like to thank all of my channel sponsors. So I'd like to thank, and so thank y'all for all you do. But no, I'd like to thank all of my sponsors. I'd like to thank me and uh, so. me. <laughs> In fairness, I don't have channel sponsors. What I have. No, I, I know that. I know that. I don't have sponsors. No. I have, I have, I have project sponsors and they're awesome awesome amazing amazing people especially that one on the far end down there with the the farm animals on it that, yeah he's, he's, awesome. all right. he's an awesome guy he's all right he did he did help put some of this in motion so From being good i know i do i know i do martin i know yeah no we're just we're just playing martin there, there's no disrespect here whatsoever uh, absolutely and you, and every one of you knows that none of us none of us and and I know that's Glenn and Chris included would say anything bad about the country club. No, God no. Ever. Well, that's my job. That's Ron's job. <laughs> there goes all of Ron's subscribers. In, <laughs> well, in, in, minus four. <laughs> in in fairness, I wouldn't say bad. You know anything bad about those who watch, even if they're not. You know if they just watch. That's oh, yeah, what we're right. here for. I mean that's that's the number one thing. We you know we. We don't do this for our own entertainment. Martin says he's still hiding in the background there watching. Look what I found on Thingiverse. I found a fun King 3D clown. That's right. <laughs> that that is legitimately the Fun King 3D crown that was modeled for Not. me. Ah. Huh. I just haven't. I don't have a printer currently big enough to fit my fat head until I get this E12 done or. Or the FK1 does. Film and I'll print it for you. <laughs> send you film it and you'll print it. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. I will send you. I will send you a roll of silky gold uh, AIO robotics. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tell me the size and I can make it. Yeah, I got to measure my fat head. Hey, look at that cool robot. Well, oh yeah, that one. I was gonna look at your designs. I got one of those. <laughs> Chris, Chris has got a great big one there. Yeah, light speed, and I, I didn't use that script. I'm sorry. I was looking at print. I got a little one. Too. Yeah, no Casa del Wacos. Yeah, no, this thing, like I said, once I put the duet on it, the bed leveling and all of the first layer and all that stuff has worked immaculately. 
Now, I, w- I hope that it hurries up and joins with the main body because with the heat, it being so small, the tips are curling up on the fin. So that could cause an issue. The new extruder motor I put on this printer doesn't seem to turn. That's not a good sign. Doesn't seem to turn with power or with your fingers? With power. Oh, yeah. I've had an issue with a stepo that was just broken. Back when my printer I thought was broken, I tried to get a new stepo, and it, like, it just go all crazy. But I just sent it back. I don't think I've ever had a stepper motor fail. No, well, one, I had one. I shelled one, but that was my fault. Okay. Let's get back to designing this. I was going to find the Raspberry Pi 7 inch. Turing Carnes 3D Tanks. Turing Carnes 3D Tanks. Thanks for the sub, man. Thank you, Ben. Yeah. Uh, we uh, we talked about that this morning, but uh, there's been a lot of people joining joining the channel lately, and that is much appreciated. It was only reason I don't seem to be gaining any subscribers. Maybe it's because well, I think it's because I'm not tweeting. Yeah, Chris Tristan may be right. It, it could be wired backwards, but it would still make some type of try to move. Yeah, I think I'd at least get some dither, you know, if it fighting the coil or something. It's just cold dead. Ah, uh, yeah. Hey, well, I want to see this. Hey, that's kind of cool. Pie boy. Can't tell to go to a gaming console. Yep, that was the end of that. That, uh, the, um... The tail fin on this that Casa del Waco said looked good, it just pulled off of the bed. Oh. So, yeah, going to have to have some type of raft, I think, for the tail at least. Need a screen. Because it's a really thin, if you can see, it's a really thin piece of plastic just to be laid down by itself. And that sucks because it was looking so nice. All right, let's try another one. What else do I have that I want to print? Don't try this at home, kids. What are you, you doing? Uh, it's currently printing right now, so. Ah. Uh. <laughs> don't don't do what I do. Just do what I say, right? Right. <laughs> Uh, I need a ceramic screwdriver. I will go do that to length and not short it up. And I'm saving up for a mug I want to get a push up. That would yeah. work, Hulk or Tony. Either one of those would work, but... I'm not a big proponent of putting stuff on my PEI sheets. Neither am I. Even glue stick. I don't like glue stick or magic goo or anything on my PEI sheets. This the one actually... Thing, go ahead, Chris. No, the only thing that I do that I will consider is for flexible because that, it's actually a release agent at that point. A release agent, yeah. yeah. But I, I, just just use, yeah. Uh, I just use the Meguiar's window cleaner on my PEI sheet for stuff and it releases beautifully i uh i absolutely need to get a new pei sheet on this one this one has seen better days from the t-bone yeah. nozzle dancing around all over it when i had I, the old stuff on it i have a new pei sheet coming it'll be here wednesday i, I bet need it's to a large get a one PEI sheet because right now i'm using oh wait well, uh, i didn't know the thing oh. is um Glenn, can you put a link to Thomas's channel in here? Yeah. It's, well, it's, it's YouTube.com dash Arduino Mix. Yeah, YouTube.com forward slash Arduino Mix. 
because I didn't I didn't know he was going to be a guest, so he's not in my chat in my description. Yeah. Maybe why your subs aren't increasing by being on here. <laughs> For some reason, every time you import something, something 50, in the 55 head, watching up. with 21 thumbs up, lazy people. You hit the thumbs up. No, my uh, so my 2.5 upgrade kit will be here on Wednesday, and I'm really excited. Honest. Textured PEI spring steel bed. Let's see. Is it powder coated? Yeah. Cool. Okay, the uh, the description has been updated. That has been okay. rectified. So everybody who's not, I'm going to go ahead and say it to everybody. If you're not subscribed to Arduino Makes, Chris's Basement, Fun King 3D, or Country 3D, go out and subscribe to our respective channels. They are all listed. Well, not mine, because you're watching on here, and you can just hit the sub on it. Um, but all of them are listed now in the description. Hmm. What's that point you're working on now, Chris? This is a Wanhao Duplicator I3. Nice. Or as the cool kids call it, a Dupe 3. A Duke three. Wait a second. That's I'm the only one that calls it that. So so it's it's not the cool kids. It's just the cool it, kid. It, I, I'm the only person I know that's not online. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See you. Hmm. Hey, Chris, Ron just made a really great observation. Yeah. That, that that's a good way to avoid using supports just by flipping the printer to the right direction when you get, you know, yeah. always maintaining your gravitational flow. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I think we'd have a lot less people 3D printing if we had to do that. I think a printer would need a lot more space if it's rotating in air. Yeah. Yeah. Big gyroscope 3D printer. <laughs> and I would like to take this time to thank my daughter and my wife. Y'all see my new shirt? I got this for my birthday. Which one are you? No, this is you and Glenn. Oh. <laughs> But neither one of those are bald. I'm gray and he's bald, yeah. That's why I wore but you're wearing a wig, Glenn. Oh. I, I do do be, that occasionally. Look at Glenn in his younger days. <laughs> yeah, I gotta show that picture again. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that haven't seen it. Before the MPB caught up with him. <laughs> Weren't they gonna like bring that show back or something? Uh no. I don't. I mean, I've watched it. I just, I just don't think kids now would think it would be relevant at all. I I don't think so either. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, Beavis and Butthead, man. It's probably better. It's probably better that Thomas doesn't know what we're talking about. Hey, Thomas, it's Beavis and Butthead. If you go look it up. <laughs> oh, no, don't 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 do that to Thomas. Now you then you would understand why we are the way we are. <laughs> I need pee for my bunghole. <laughs> he said bunghole. <laughs> I am the great cornholio. The cornholio. For my bunghole. <laughs> Tristan came in with I am cornholio. <laughs> the great yes. cornholio. The great Cornholio. All right, I got stepper drivers on order for that board, Chris. 
Yeah. All right. Did you get the did you get the trinemic? What's that? Did you get some trinemics you're gonna put on it? Nah, I ordered some uh eighty five I don't know, it was whatever they suggested. I think they said Walmart on them. Where's the dimension? Mad Mike Mad Mike said he popped had, he picked a bad time to pop back in. <laughs> you were talking um, about Cornholio. Eighty eight twenty five steppers. Yeah. They were eleven dollars for a set of four. Oh no, pack of five. Sorry, pack of five. No, you're you're right, Tony Ryan. You're absolutely right. You cannot blame all of it on Beavis and Butthead. No. Hmm. If you let me lay down, I can tell you how much I blame my parents. <laughs> I wonder if I finally blew this stepper driver up. I think instead of designing something, I think I should just make this. Because apparently I'm not great at designing stuff. What's up, uh, Land Husky Tosky Ross? That's too long to say. Pick one of those words, and that's what we'll say hello to. <laughs> oh, we just call him Ross. But I, I'm I'm not sure who that is. That's geared down. No. That. Hawk two D photo. Yeah, I will places. You three D. I'm just. This is like the first time I've ever looked at the chat. <laughs> Hit boy case. Okay, let me find that. Did I just close that? That's a good question for Chris. He would know better than I. I have no three three millimeter printers at all, so I would never use it. That's who I thought it was. I thought it was Candy. That's uh Mike Whaley's daughter, Lynn. I thought it was Candy. I just didn't wasn't for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. I've seen the Pit Boy case. That's a pretty cool. I I've seen it somewhere. I can't remember where though. Oh yeah, I saw this one. So what's the plan, Chris? I don't know. I think I'm going to stop this so that I can uh, uh, use USB to try to diagnose this one. Um. Yeah, Tony Ryan, I'll uh, try to find that. Um, default what? nominal filament diameter versus default. No, I. The only thing that that setting is used for is the filament width sensor, and I can find um, it. And um, oh, I think there's like a flow rate option that nobody uses. Uh, um, like if you're doing, there's firm, there's there's certain things you do in slicing that the firmware will do it for you. And I think those are the only things that is used for. Two point eight five versus three millimeter. I don't think it absolutely it makes any difference, even if there is a 2.85. I thought in Marlin it was either 1.75 or 3.0, but I could be wrong. I don't think it matters either way, though. Oh. <laughs> Tony Ryan said, "Hook the Duke three together with the pulse. That'll take care of all the problems and print twice as fast." We lost Chris. He, he had enough of everybody's crap. He's like, I'm out. He's out. <laughs> he out of here. I didn't hear the mic. Okay, so one dot nine actually has all three. Yeah, I, I think there's only a couple of features that you would use that would that would even matter. I don't use any of them. I just said it because it seems like a good idea. I don't know. Hmm. Printing. 
not going to finish before that stream is over, though. I feel bad, Chris, because Glenn and Uncle Ron keep having secret conversations that we're not all privy to. <laughs> well, I, I don't want to bore you with my chit chat talking about how this computer is so slow compared to my new one. My computer is the one that's slow. Well, and this this computer used to be twenty eleven. Like, super fast, but sucks. I swear, Raspberry Pi is better. Hmm. Hmm. What happened? Oh, cold extrusion. That's what happened. So oh. here's here's a lesson, kids. <laughs> I've uh, one. I've been working on 3D printers way too long today. So if you're gonna test an extruder motor, make sure the hot end is at temperature because the firmware <laughs> keeps you from being an idiot <laughs> and won't let you turn the motor if it's not warm. <laughs> Isn't there, isn't there an M command to turn that it's off? There is, but uh, it's just one of those days. It, it actually, the firmware doesn't stop you from being an idiot. It, it stops you from being a certain kind of idiot. <laughs> right. It totally let me be an idiot. You're right. <laughs> actually, it made you look like an idiot, actually. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> that's, that's actually more correct, yes. Oh, well. <laughs> He's got an extra driver board if I need one. Thank you, Tony. Casa del Waco says it's time for a beer, Chris. <laughs> yeah, it's getting there, man. <laughs> it's getting there. This is the last stream for today. I can tell you that for sure. <laughs> oh, you're dumping me? Really? I thought we were doing that late night thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you want me to get up at 3.30 with you? Yeah, sure. sure. This, this wasn't the 24-hour stream? <laughs> no. Oh, Martin said the idle status of Chris went from one to zero. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we all make mistakes. Hey, Thomas. Yeah. You're sharing your Google your Google Hangouts page. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Thomas, every time you talk, we actually see Chris Riley. Yeah, we're seeing who who else was on there. Yeah, you should see this. <laughs> Maybe I should just turn the screen chair off. Yeah. There you go. I'm still trying to figure out how his touch screen mount is. Well, it definitely was. I definitely couldn't test it because of cold, extru cold extrusion prevention, but it still doesn't change the fact that this motor doesn't work. Really? So you turned it off and it still didn't work? Well, now the old one doesn't work either, so I'm guessing I got a bad driver. Uh, Walter, what's that you're printing? Uh, this is the, the uh, aircraft carrier Benchy that Glenn posted earlier. The submarine Benchy, you mean? No, the aircraft carrier. Oh, let me find that. It's called the Nimitz. N-I-M-I-T-Z. Okay. Dash Benchy. Doesn't make any sense. When has 3D printing ever made sense, Chris? A Nimitz class Benchy? Yeah, the Nimitz, the Nimitz class Benchy. Oh, that's cool. see that yeah i'm going to print the sub but the sub is like a five hour print it's not this one's a little smaller yeah this is cool or Did that would have been embarrassing <laughs> say again chris <laughs> tony ryan good thing there's only 52 people watching or that would have been embarrassing All right <laughs> yeah you could have hit it at the peak like we had 63 at one time Huh. 
You and Todd said it stops you being that kind of idiot that also heats up his acetone on the stove. And also, what? <laughs> Why in the heck would you ever heat acetone on a stove? What? Who's heating acetone on the stove? I don't know. He said there's a video on the Proofs of Facebook group of somebody heating their acetone on the stove. Wow. I don't have any words for that. I do, but I'm not going to say I'm on the stream. <laughs> Well, now this stepper is ticking like a clock, so we're making progress. It's ticking like a clock. Kind of yeah, it's, it, like doesn't have enough voltage or something. Mad Mike said, crack making 101. <laughs> <laughs> ABS smoothing. Yeah, I guess so, but why would you heat it up? Yeah, <clears throat> I, don't, I don't think that I'm comfortable yeah. with heating up a flammable liquid. No. Yeah, me either. <laughs> Had to throw the pot out the window. The fire was so big. <laughs> no, don't use the stove. I use a candle to heat my acetone. <laughs> right? I like those little sterno cans that you use for heating up uh, buffets. Yeah. 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 First, that, first that check. Also be efficient. First check, check to make sure you have some in the pot with a lighter. Yeah. Also check you have a fire extinguisher nearby. <laughs> I bet I bet the first thing out of his mouth was here holding my beer. Yeah. Watch this. Watch this. And I have too many. 250% benchies on my desk right now. You have that same I problem? I a benchy bigger than 100% scale. You have it? No. I've got one on the floor that's 450%. What are the dimensions? Check it out right now. Uh, 3D printer fire. Right there. It is on fire. 3D printer fire. There goes that separate driver. You know, that's uh, good too. Uh, they they generally don't work anymore when you do that to them. Yeah, the magic has been you let smoke. out of that one. You shouldn't have the magic smoke. smoke coming out. Yeah, it char it charred that stepper to the board. Magic awesome. smoke. Hey Thomas, there yeah. you go. Oh my, that's huge. Yeah, this is this is two hundred and fifty percent. Wow. That is one big benchy. Yeah, it's a crappy benchy. If I squeezed it hard, it would collapse because the <laughs> infill doesn't work on it either. How's wow. the uh, how's the aroma of that uh, that printer there, Chris? Oh, it's fantastic. How does the magic smoke smell? Yeah, not. It smells like burning. I burnt out many transistors. <laughs> I love the smell. These snake these snowflakes taste like burning. <laughs> exactly. Oh, um. <laughs> Well, well, Chris, how, how long have you had that one how? Uh, I don't know, three or four weeks. I was going to say yeah, about three you, weeks. Yeah, didn't you go and like pick that up at the store? Yeah. Return it. Box and take it back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's so your return the part? <laughs> They'd I sell it to somebody uh, else. Sign, sign a while ago that's got my... Duo uh, says it smells like five, failure. Five, 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 five. And there was a switch on it, but I super glued the switch so it can't move. Cool. And I just had to wire it so when you plug it into a USB, it'll just turn on. Like this. There you go. Nice. Later, Hulk. Yeah, one of the wires just came disconnected. Bye, Ben. Thanks for being here, brother. Yeah. Yeah, Techie Dad said at least it doesn't smell like acetone on a stove. True. Okay, now it no. works. I wonder what a board for a Duplicator 3 costs. I don't know. We can look that up. Yeah, this glowing it up cat looks pretty good. I 
I've never had success with my uh, ABS. The color change, it's like a 200 gram video of color changing ABS. Let me get it real quick. When I tried to up with it, it jammed up my nozzle. Chris, there's one on eBay for about 66 bucks, but the Melt C version 3.5 Wan How Duplicator I3 on Ultimate 3D Printing Store is 89.95. Wow, this printer's not worth that much money. But it's a Melty board, so you should be able to find a Melty board for cheaper than that. I would think. Yeah, well, I mean, I could swap in something else, but um, that kind of defeats my purpose. I might as well just scrap it. Yeah, you can get the uh, the 2.0 Melty boards for. I mean, hell, the Tronxy motherboard is uh, thirty dollars at Walmart.com. <laughs> That's interesting. And it's a Melty. I did not know Walmart sold Melty boards. Yeah. Banggood, Amazon, low price Melty board. Thirty-four bucks on Amazon. I actually have a spill a Melty board here that I. Uh, when I that I got when I I, I tried to replace it on my printer when it was broken. Clearly, that wasn't a problem. So now I just have an extra SMOZ lying around for something. That's okay, Carl Brown. Uh, I've got other boards, but I just don't know what to do. With I could make it work if I really felt like it. I guess. Yeah, if you want to replace it with a Melzy, though, about 35 bucks on Amazon. Yeah. I bought my Melzy for uh, 40 38 I think. Now, let, me this, let me ask you this, Chris. Could you wire new steppers to that board? Mm, uh, I don't know. I'd have to, uh, I'm going to get it out of here and look at the traces. I mean, I, th I, I could probably jump around it, but... Yeah. Um... That might be a lot of work. When when do you think the FK one is going to be done? Say that one more time. You broke up a little bit. Uh, what, when do you think the FK one is going to be done? It will absolutely be done by the tenth of November because it will be on display at Orlando Maker Fair, and uh, I refuse to not have it working by then. So. I mean, I what well, we got like about six weeks before the, well, six weeks before November 1st. I'm shooting for November 1st, so I have a little bit of a buffer. But, I mean, if it comes down to where I have to pull late nights and stuff, I, I, I'll do it. I mean, and, and honestly, it would probably be done already if it wasn't for the fact that I've been filming the whole thing. Like, I can't just yeah. work on it. I have to, if there's two of something, like say the Z lead screws, I put one on to know how to do it, and then I film putting the other one on. So it's like, it, it, it takes longer, but yeah, it'll be done whether it's finished or not. No, see, I have a, I have a problem where I don't finish projects. So, like, I have intentionally not ordered the aluminum for the bed because if I put the bed on there, I will, I will just halfway do the wiring. Like, I'll just, I'll just... I won't do any cable management on it. I'll just want to get it printing. So if it doesn't have a bed and I can't print, then I'm forced to do other stuff. So it's like I'm holding off that crucial piece. So yeah, and, I, am, uh, I am what, truly the king of unfinished projects. What program did you use to like design the, like to get the trailer, like to design the prototype? In this uh, it was all done in, in uh, Rhinoceros, wow. Rhino 3D. Um, which is a, it's a mesh, it's a mesh modeling program, but I've been using it for a long time. And then it actually has a rendering capability in it, but the way that it does it, like you have to, you draw a path for the camera and then you tell it how many frames you want, you know, and then it makes an image for each one of those. And each, each rendering, each frame was between seven minutes and 15 minutes to wow. render each of the 200 frames that it took to do that that trailer so 
it was pretty awesome. But the really cool part is, is because, because I now have a CAD model of my printer. Like I can, I can go in there and tell you exactly how far the pin from the BL touch to the nozzle on the E3D hot end. Like I can tell you exactly how far apart it is, you know? So when I go to put that information into the firmware, it's not a guess. Like I know exactly where it is. So it just, it's, it's really cool. And that's not something that you typically have access to. It would be done already if it wasn't for those darn kids. If it wasn't for you meddling kids, I would have gotten away with it too. What is it called? A melty board? Melty board? <laughs> a melty board. That's the only kind I buy, the melty ones. <laughs> you just melt melty it all over the vent. Yeah. Right? Later, Casa del Wacos. Just check Banggood. The MKS Gen L version 1.0 integrated controller mainboard plus five pieces of 2208s equals 54 bucks. That's from one, Tristan. Uh, one point I was thinking of building. Let me screen share real quick. Yeah. Who's the king printer? You're thinking about building me? Oh. So it's uh done job. kitten printer yeah uh the pick like this thing oh loading it well that's pretty neat i just couldn't figure out where to get all the parts well, well let main, me, like, mainly the hotbed parts let me let me look into it when i get a chance and i'll see if i can help you source all of that they do have a bill of materials, but um, uh, I honest, honestly, your main source is probably going to be like Ally Express. Ally Express. Yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, I, it was like like from McMaster and stuff like that. Oh, that's big dollars there. Yeah. If you order it, if you order it from U.S. Soil, you're gonna pay. Yeah. It comes in kit tin form. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't gold materials? Like I didn't know that. They, that, and uh, they said the person that built it said it cost them like a thousand dollars. That's what? mainly because yeah, I know. But that's mainly because they use like expensive parts, like a like a hunt like one hundred fifty dollar motherboard. Yeah, but the, you got to look at the age of these. This was this was last updated a year ago. But the majority of it was three, two to three years ago. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. you, I wish people now. Yeah. So when they built this, yeah, I could see that. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So, cause I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Oh, I was gonna say I wouldn't spend a thousand dollars to build my own printer, yeah. but let's try that again. I wouldn't spend a thousand dollars to build that little mini printer. I'd just buy a Prusa and be done with it. Yeah, it, but, it's using it's using Marlin one point zero point two. Oh yeah, but I mean to plunk a thousand dollars down on that little tiny printer. Yeah, I wouldn't ever do that. Maybe because they don't have the money. The thing about it is, it's not that small. It's a two hundred by two hundred millimeter print area. Yeah. Yeah. What's no, your point? Uh, That's pretty small. I got the design from the guy who had one. Comparatively so, but. It's I mean, still not like a like 110 or something. That's like a child's printer. <laughs> oh, yeah, because the uh, <laughs> proof is 250 by 210, right? <laughs> I was talking about the FK1, but okay. <laughs> yeah, I got you. <laughs> yeah, uh, um, I saw a guy at Moog that had one. That's what, like uh, the Google Making and Science booth thing. So, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's basically just a smaller hypercube is all it is. Oh, yeah, and Zil Ziltec's got that. Did I say that right, Ziltec? They've got that um, that Core XY kit that they sell that's pretty affordable. And then you just add the electronics so, to it. Right? Can you get on it and check it out in the chat? What's that? Can you, uh, like, what, what, where's the, uh, can you put a link of that in the chat? The Ziltec one? Yeah. 
Yeah, I can find that. That's what you got the Wall Street, right? No, they came from Amazon. Oh. Yeah, no, I'm I'm looking it up on their site. It's $129 for the kit from Ziltech itself. Can you put a link in the... Uh, I'm doing it right now. 129 But then you have to add electronics now. That right, that's not, just the frame kit. Yeah, oh, okay. just, oh, just the, the frame kit. Let me see. Yeah, I've gained like five subscribers. <laughs> uh, let me see. Then you have to add now. Wow, that was seriously delayed. Delayed. Delays. I was actually looking. I don't even see that this is a frame. They have a full kit. They have a Zyltec Hypercube kit. Oh, it's a Hypercube. From it ranges from four hundred and twenty to four hundred and eighty dollars, but it's a dual Z full kit. This has everything but the frame material, I think. What? Well, it had everything but the frame in it the, when I posted out there. The ah. hypercube, the hypercube three hundred with dual Z full kit is is the frame unassembled, and all of the all of the like the fans, the motors, everything. Oh, whoa. So, like, all you need to get is a extruder and a board? No, all you have to get is the time to put it together in a, in a handful of cash. What, like, what is it? What do you need? For this kit, nothing, but it's, it's $500. Oh, no. For the $129 one. Oh, you have to get everything. <laughs> oh. For $129, yeah. you can show it. The thing is, though, Glenn, with that kit, you can buy the frame for seventy nine to eighty nine ninety five. Oh yeah, the one that you linked, um, yeah, is the drive the drive system. Yeah, no, here's here's the oh, kit. Let me let me give the link here. Here you go. Here's the whole kit. That the the four hundred and eighty dollar one. Yeah. Well, no, this one's three forty nine to three seventy nine. Does it have like the Does it have the firmware pre installed? Something? I, don't, I don't know if it does, Thomas. No, and then then you're right. The full DIY 300 millimeter. What's the other one? I'm just listening to myself talk. Uh, I, I like that. I like that kit with the with the lime green and the black. That's uh, it looks pretty neat, so doesn't it? And then here's the one you were talking about, Glenn. This is the 419 to 479. It comes with all electronics and everything, though. That's yeah, that's full full kit. Yeah, that's that's yeah. just a printer kit. So. So the frame kit has like the board right, and stuff right, right. too, and the extruder. It doesn't look like it. Five hundred bucks for three hundred cube. It's five hundred bucks though. Uh, that's 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 not really that bad for a for a three hundred three hundred Core X Y hypercube. I was gonna say that's a, that's right at what the older tech FT5 costs. If you get it with a, you can get a premium bed for four seventy nine or a regular heated bed for four twenty nine. The the, the premium bed is a high power twelve volt heater bed. So what is the regular heated bed? It, it would it would be low power twelve volt heated bed. <laughs> I bet it would be non heated. <laughs> no, it says heated regular heated bed. I know, but I bet it comes with no heater. This doesn't come with any heater. It's just aluminum sheet. <laughs> <laughs> and a lighter. And a big lighter. Yeah, big, big light. yeah right. They're, it's a $50 difference. Let me, let me find the kit. Well, you can get it for four sixty nine if you get it aluminum instead of black anodized. Who is that? Lot, That's ridiculous. Wait, it's, it's aluminum anodized, not black anodized. So yeah, they anodize it aluminum colored. Clear anodized. Yeah, it's clear Wait, anodized. So this hypercube is a full kit, two hundred cubic. Well, Lama, it doesn't say that on the. It doesn't say that on the page. It says regular heated bed and then premium high power twelve volt heated bed. This one, this Zotac hypercube, is two hundred cubic. For 319 to 300, 309 to 319. It's got a ramp board, OCD, bed, everything basically. Yeah, and the electronics, oh. you get on the ramps 1.4. Oh, scroll down. I got to read the description. 
because they can't put it in the the parts description. It's a hundred and twenty volt bed for the second one. Hey, Chris. Hmm. Uncle Ron wants to know if you're mad now that you sent me this board. <laughs> get out! Get out! Then. I, I got yeah. others. Don't worry. I got others. <laughs> well, buying that hypercube kit, you get a you get a one free one kilo spool of Zotec PLA. Well, I would hope they'd throw in a whole entire kilo for you know when you spend five hundred bucks. But they're up. Uh, they're their filament's supposed to be really decent. Yeah. I, I have a couple samples that I got from uh, Geek Tech, but I haven't tried them yet. That'd be Ryan. Ryan over at Geek Tech. Ryan over at Geek Tech. I haven't seen Ryan around in a while. No, he's been kind of quiet lately. Yeah. Yeah, this, it's, uh, I, I might want to buy this Hypercube 200. So what, uh, what interests you in the Hypercube, Thomas? I don't know. I just really like the design. Yeah. Well, you know, you could always print one, Thomas. <laughs> I know. I know. But it seems like it would be a, uh, maybe if I, maybe if I like bought the aluminum and cut it myself and like bought a post kit. Well, oh, yeah. I, mean, you I, did really... the math. I did the math. You can't print the extrusion cheaper than you I think... Oh they no! You them. absolutely, you absolutely can't print them cheaper than you can buy them. No, you might as well buy the aluminum, and then you you cannot you cannot. Well, I won't say you can't, but it's very difficult for you to source the part cheaper than you could buy it as a kit. True, because the person selling the kit is buying it in bulk. So, if you're a super super careful shopper, you could do all right. If you're if you're willing to wait a month for the stuff to get there, it's not too bad. So, did we lose Thomas again? He looks frozen. Yeah, he's frozen. <laughs> he's frozen again. Chris, did you give up? I gave up. I'm tired for today. I am tired myself. Hundred watt ones. We got about we got got about thirteen minutes. <laughs> the premium versus. So, so Tom, Tom said that um, they're both 12-volt beds. Just one is 100 watt, and the other one is a 220 with a higher rated power supply. Oh. Yeah, I didn't read it. Mystery solved. Yeah, I, I have, it's, real, it's only half my screen over here, so I can't really, can't really see. I'm sitting right for me. Hey. Yeah, look how, oh, no, I'm tying this. Oh. Now we have, two, we have two Thomases. Yeah, we have Wait. frozen Thomas and non-frozen Thomas. Look, it's twin Thomases. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, you should kick the other one. Fresh, never frozen. Oh, okay. he's gone. He gone. Yep. Oh, we lost Thomas again. <laughs> he didn't. Jake from State Farm just ordered himself some Vertigo Galaxy. Oh, really fancy pants. I'm using the my box with my Vertigo Gray in it as a mouse pad. I never buy those expensive fancy filaments. I think the Vertigo Gray looks so good. It is. It is fantastic filament. My mom bought it for me for my birthday. That's why. That's why. I didn't buy it myself. Buy two AMA 8 kits for $50 each and build a hypercube. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, that this two hundred millimeter kit. Maybe I should uh, get my uh, make my own cube, and then buy a parts kit. That's that's always a very valid option. I will tell you though that you're going to have to buy your extrusions on U.S. soil because they're cheaper buying them from overseas, but the shipping will kill you. Yeah. Yep. By the time they put shipping on it, plus the, don't guarantee they're going to be straight by the time they get here. So, with the Hypercube 200, okay. So the post kit for the Hypercube 200 is 159, and then the the Hypercube was the and the, I bet the Hypercube drive kit is probably quite a bit 
They're probably trying to feel with his. You could you could get a uh, Tron Tronk DX five. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm I'm sorry. Was that a sore spot there, Chris? Now put your eye out. Yeah. You put your eye out, kid. <laughs> uh, I uh, no, Ooh. I'm at peace with that one. I it's over with. Yeah. You killed yeah, it. The Tron XY X5, I was thinking about getting. No. <laughs> no. It literally almost put Chris's yeah. eye out. But it's pretty bad. That that's it's a horrible printer. Just don't do it. Yeah, the Tron XY. I heard uh, it's pretty bad. I'm serious, Glenn. I think I'm just gonna start wearing safety glasses twenty four seven. Yeah. Just I'll even put them on when I go to bed, just in case. <laughs> Just get the amber ones. They have a nice stylish look to them. Just... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that was uh, that was that was really scary, Chris. That was that was close. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, I hope to never do that one again. That's, that's pretty funky looking, Carl. I don't know what that is. Just in the house, and he said, "Hey, look, it's Uncle Ron." <laughs> Hello, Fernando. Say no to acrylics. Say no to acrylics just because it takes a long time to peel the paper off. Ladies and gentlemen, and Uncle Ron, it's Fernando Pena. It don't fit into either category. <laughs> <laughs> I want you guys to pay attention when uh, this week's uh, Xander's Thing Thursday comes out. And just remember that Uncle Ron was here. Excellent. Why, you sneak me in there somehow? No. Oh, yeah, right. It's just a comment that oh. I made. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I might, I might just buy this Hypercube 200 bulk kit because I haven't actually ever put together a printer. It'd be pretty good, pretty awesome. Can you post a link to it, Thomas, so I can see what you're looking at? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Hey, Carl, I wanted, I printed up here's a very oh, nice yeah, he, on the uh, TiVo. Uh, you might have to post it in the uh, in the Hangouts. Link in the Hangouts chat. Oh, I can post it there. I was going to post it on uh, the thing so everybody could see. Yeah, but I don't know if you have access to do that. To do what? Post the link. Uh, he hasn't typed anything in the chat oh, yet. No, I don't. Make him a mod. He, he did. It was just a long time ago. He typed, he typed I accidentally closed my <laughs> Hangout window. I'll be right back. Oh, I missed it. Yeah. I wonder how you knew what he did. I just I just posted it in the chat. I was looking at this one. It's a 309 95 to 319 to 95. And I think that uh the price really is depending on if it's black or aluminum anodized. I I know oh, yeah, I, black anodized is uh ten dollars more. It's worth it. The no, not necessarily. The, the downside to getting the black anodization is if you, well, if you nick it, it scratches. It scratches really yeah. easy. As where the clear one, if you scratch it, you yeah, can't really tell that you scratched it. The black anodized works super nice, like a nice map. But definitely it scratches up a lot. You can see quite a few online. Keith, the developer's in the chat, and he says, hello all. Great to see Kit on the Hangouts. I will put $150 up for him if somebody will match it. If what? Keith Developer said he will give you $150 towards your printer if somebody will match it. Like, what do you mean match it? Like, if somebody else will put up another $150. Oh. Uh. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I think this kitten printer, though, is really cool. Just because it's tiny. Like, uh, you see how big a roll of spool hoist compared to it? On the but, but the thing is, the thing is, Thomas, it's really not that tiny. It's 200 by 200. I like, know. Like, a little bit smaller than an Anet A8. Yeah, a little bit smaller than an A8. So. I just like it's like, not huge like this. Uh, it's... Okay, but y'all need to go to his channel and give it to him there if you want to give it to him. Thomas, do you have a, a donation links in any of your descriptions or anything? No, I don't. Because I, I don't have any way to get it to him either. Yeah, I don't have anything. Uh, 
Okay, I don't have a PayPal or anything. Yeah, Jake from State Farm. Yeah, uh, yeah, two, uh, mm -hmm. two yeah. awesome printers in one day. Yeah. Uh, See. No worries. And the hang printer, it's it's going. It's quiet at the moment. Uh, I'm going to move it to my shed as soon as it's less than 90 degrees out there. So uh, that should be interesting this winter. We'll see what it, how it goes. Me, uh, Colin. Colin, Hill, Hill CT, Colin, just said $150 from here. So. Where's the uh, that should be interesting this winter. Hey, Chris, with that dupe now, at least you got heat for the shed. Say that one more time, Ron. At least you got heat for the shed with that uh, other one help. Yeah, that's true. And no mosquitoes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess we could we could do that, but you know. But Colin said he'd match the 150, so that's 300 bucks. Wow. Because right now I have enough to buy it if I want. But I'm still thinking about it. Because um, I'm looking at some other stuff right now. Like I was maybe thinking of getting an in it, in it A8 and putting the AMA upgrade on it. Checking my look, yeah. I was thinking of that. I would I would get buy an Ender 3 before I did that. You do what? Ender 3? Yeah, I'd buy an Ender 3 before I did the A net A8 to AM8 upgrade. Yeah, I would I would agree with that as well, Walter. You did an AM8 upgrade. Right, but I had the A8. Oh, okay. And the Ender 3 didn't exist at the time, so. Right. So, Jay for <laughs> State Farm said, take the money. <laughs> <laughs> take the money. So, yeah, but, if, you ask, if you ask your parents if they have PayPal, yeah, um, like then um, we can get it to you. Thomas. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to see if I could. I'm going to uh, find an endo. How much is that endo for me? Uh, no, like, like, uh, I think I run like 179 or something bucks. like that. Is that where the injury is right now? Don't they run like 179 to 199, depending on where you get it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Fernando, I did work on the D3, and I made it so much better. <clears throat> yes, it actually caught physical fire. Yeah, we actually had smoke today. <laughs> there goes Trist Tristan's printing twice as fast again. <laughs> yeah, it went down in flames, Fernando. Are you printing a bench? Push. Of course. Push. Looks like I can it. never get away from them. <laughs> I'm printing a Benchy too, Chris. Excellent. The Nimitz class Benchy. Nimitz class, the big one. I really don't feel like picking these up. I have a Halo helmet that I made quite a while ago. But I've just never gotten around to finishing it. Uh, Keith says uh, to send to send him Thomas's shipping address, and uh, he'll order and ship it to him. Um, oh, I I can I can take care of that because I have I have Thomas's dad's contact information. So, okay, Glenn, if you if you'll coordinate that, that'd be cool, man. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you, Keith. That's it's greatly appreciated. Tom, Thomas is a very very smart young man, and. And uh, anything that we can do to um, enable him to to do more creating is is awesome. That'd be that make a good video series. <laughs> Buildings that I want. Uh, I wonder if it comes with the uh, this flat like the promo flash, or if you need to do it by yourself. Maybe read the description. All right, guys, you know what time it is? Four o'clock? No, it's six o'clock. Well, it's four o'clock for me. 
It means I get to go eat supper because I'm starving. Oh, good packing material. Look, look, Chris Riley has a few of his benchies out. These are just the ones I didn't deem good enough for the wall. Oh my. That's <laughs> so I still have the best one you ever printed. I, you still have the champ. I still have the champ. Yeah, I have it. We'll, we'll see if we can top that one someday, but it's going to be tough. <laughs> yeah, dude, that was that was that was such an epic failure. <laughs> oh, it's bad. And it was so awesome that you just pick, happened to pick orange, blue, and white to print it in. I was like, <laughs> yeah, that's just crazy. This is probably the. Best benchy I've ever made. Give that tops any of you use. <laughs> Benchies better have my money. Yeah, they're there I got a I had to rent a uh really the chat. A shipping container for the rest of them. They're out back. Oh, I haven't even had the chat for a while. I can't keep up with the chat because wait, maybe I should minimize my window. That so I can actually see the chat. Um, yeah. yeah. Over. Almost. I'm gonna see you have to get off. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um. There you go. Colin, you and Keith get together and, and hash that out. And send the, send the man a good printer. Y'all got $300. You can send him a nice printer for 300 bucks. Oh, uh, Mikey just cracked his phone. <laughs> no. 3D printing kit, Mikey. OMG, I just dropped my phone without a case and it cracked on the back of the phone. Did you crack your phone? Well, it had to happen eventually, I guess. Not Did you crack the phone? Cracks. Who, wait, who cracked? Mikey, then. Where? Him. Where? Where? Don't tell me you got another update. Yeah, I was going to say, guess what Microsoft just gave me? <laughs> no, they didn't get you an update, did they? Yeah, they did. Ooh. Even though I've told the, com the computer not to accept them. All right. Well, guys, uh, if y'all want to, uh, we'll start with Thomas. Thomas, tell everybody about yourself and tell everybody bye. Tell them where they can find you and, and, and what you do, buddy. If uh, you guys want to contact me, you can. I'll, I'll have my email, in, my, my, my business email in the chat. If you guys ever want to contact me about like that 3D printer, you guys want to maybe sponsor that. I'm going to uh, I'm going to reach out to your dad, Thomas. Yeah. yeah, thanks for that. Thanks. This community is so great, guys. Yeah. yeah, if you ever want to contact me, contact me through that email. I know I'm actually really bad about checking emails, but I'll try and get that. I'll try and get that uh, done. I'll try um, and email. They're, they're gonna send you the Ziltech kit, Thomas. That'll that'll make good video for you to put together and and that type of thing. Oh, I that'll like. Be cool. I have like ten tabs open right now. Yeah. All right, Chris Riley, your yeah. turn. Yes, uh, I am Chris Riley, and Sundays are for printing sometimes. And uh, I like Benchies. They're awesome. Uh, you can find me on YouTube, uh, youtube.com slash Chris Riley. Uh, I am not anywhere else, as you all know. I am Chris Riley, not on Twitter. Uh, thank you all for hanging out with me all day today, pretty much. I appreciate that. And uh, fun in the country basement is always a good time. Thanks for, thanks for coming. Chris, you've got it next week. Is that correct? That is correct. All right. We'll be on Chris's channel in the basement. All right, Glenn. Unmute and do your thing. Yeah, I'd unmute. T today, I'm Glenn. I'm Rob. And uh, we're currently Fun King 3D Xanders over playing video games. And, uh, you know, we're a father and son team, and we like to do 3D printing and electronic projects. And, of course, my big claim to fame right now is the FK1 printer being built. And... Uh, Xander does Xander Sing Thursday every Thursday at noon. And we are found at Fun King 3D everywhere. That's F U N K I N G 3D. All right. Well, guys, I'm, I'm Walter, Country 3D, and uh, I make videos, quite a lot of them. 
so well, six days a week I live stream, and uh, we hang out. Um, if you're not subscribed to Thomas at Arduino Makes, at Chris Riley at Chris's Basement, or Fun King on Fun King 3D, all of the links for their YouTube channels are in the description. Please go subscribe if you're not subscribed here. Like and subscribe. And next week we'll be in Chris's basement, but this has been Fun in the Country Basement. Say bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Y'all have a great one.